Hello guys, you are most welcome again on my channel. My name is Kaushik and I am uh, trying to complete history of English literature in 100 days. Hopefully before 100 days we will complete it. Today is day 33. In today's video we are going to talk about sonnet and sonneteers of uh, A's of Shakespeare. This is called golden A's for sonnets. In this video we will be talking about uh, about main characteristics of sonnets of uh, this time means age of Shakespeare and we will be talking about six sonneteers Thomas Watson, Edmund Spencer, Sir Philip Sidney, Shakespeare, Daniel and Dryden. We will see some uh, specific qualities of sonnets and if you want to watch detailed video on uh, what sonnet is the types of sonnets, from where it started and uh, the derived from the word, everything. If you want to see all the things, then search on my channel. So, I will try to put a link in the detail in the description box. But if you don't get it, then search on my channel. If you to topic, you want to channel, search on my channel. If you want English literature, you want to topic, structuralism, post-structuralism, uh, anything, objective correlatives, any topic, I have uh, more than 300 videos for English literature topics, okay, uh, in last year I made. So you can search any topic from English literature, like uh, if you are searching for Fairy Queen, uh, you need to search Fairy Queen by Kaushik and you will get the topic there, okay. Uh, any topic, you will, uh, the A's is, any A's in English literature, I have already covered uh, two times, but this time I'm just focusing on uh, in depth like main characteristics and other things. Okay, so let's go ahead uh, First a small uh, introduction The sonnet started in 14th century in Italy. It came uh, through Italy to England Okay, and uh, it has uh, that's why we have influences here like Italian and French influences, right? There are some people like uh, Voight and Surrey, as uh, I have already told you, uh, that you can check out that video. Uh, some more things we have here, special things. Like there is one question that who has written 18 lines sonnets. Sonnet is 14 line poem, isn't it? 14 line poem, so we have 8 plus 6 sometimes. And uh, in case of Shakespeare, we have uh, 444. Four, four. Okay, and 444 four, four and plus 2 in case of Shakespeare. And uh, other wrote 14 lines poems, uh, Sestet and uh, Octave. So let's go ahead. First is Thomson, Thomas Watson. So Thomas Watson is the guy who wrote 18 lines sonnets. He wrote total sonnets, 100 sonnets he wrote. And uh, the name of the collection of 100 sonnets was uh, Passions or Poems of Love. So this is a question for your high level. Next one is second volume by Thomas Watson was The Tears of Fancy and uh, he chose to write down in 14 lines as you can see here. Some people are complaining that uh, it is not visible. So try to watch in 720p and on full screen on your cell phone. Uh, so it will be clear and uh, try to listen to me as well as I read these things as well for you. Okay, while discussing these things. So the tears of fancy in 14 lines, again, he came to 14 lines, uh, you know, sonnet structure or love distant. So these uh, tears of fancy or love distant was the second volume. So first volume was Passions or Poems of Love by Thomas Watson. Hello guys, if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you can get notified for my videos. Here are some of my other channels. If you like, please do subscribe. First is Daily Lesson with Kaushik for English language. And uh, Mission Free from Fear is for motivation and uh, self-defense. Seated, sure, is for particularly seated. Now, Sir Philip Sidney. Uh, day before yesterday, I uploaded, or two, three days before, I uploaded Sir Philip Sidney's full uh, video on uh, his works. Astrophil and Stella, A and S. In shortcut, I usually write for my notes. So remember this A and S means Astrophil and Stella. So detailed uh, video you will find there. What I am writing here, only one fact I have written about this because I found it. 
this is called the real beginning of sonnet so if there is a question which uh, which is called real beginning of sonnet you will find the sir philip sydney's astrophel and stella next is edmund spencer we have already made a video on this also uh, on this poet he has written 88 sonnets okay the collection of sonnet is called amenity so next is volume first is called a theater for worlding so uh, if you don't know write down this his first volume his volume is called the theater of worlding the theater of worlding write down this and what is special in edmund spencer's sonnets he used classical conceits so this is his specific quality of uh, edmund spencer classical conceit so if you don't know what conceit is again type literary theory and criticism and terms literary terms by Kaushik you will find this conceit there as well next is Shakespeare everybody is famous uh, this is everybody knows that he has written uh, 50, 154 sonnets but add this fact to your uh, you know fact file 1594 two dates remember this thing 1594 was the year when he composed these sonnets and 1609 was the year when it got published who was the guy who got published these things was thomas thorpe thomas thorpe uh t-h-o-r-p thomas thorpe was the person who got these things published these are dedicated to mr h and dark lady with this he, with this key, Shakespeare unlocked his heart. Now, what does this key means? It means sonnet. This sonnet sequence, or not sonnet sequence, but collection of sonnets, 154 uh, sonnets. And who said this? This uh, quotation. This quotation is by uh, William Wordsworth. With this key, Shakespeare unlocked his heart. Or somewhere can be asked, what does key means so key means his sonnets i hope you are getting okay this side i have here is a lady named laura so you can find about laura this lady most of the love sonnets were dedicated to this lady and uh, what are the main characteristics of sonnets in this age first is foreign influence and in foreign influence, they were influenced by Italian style and French style okay, of writing poetry. And as we know that sonnet came through Italy. And here is one word you should remember, sonnet of a little sound if you are preparing for TGT, PGT. Because in TGT, PGT usually it is asked uh, from this section, sonnet section. Variety of themes. Two main themes are love and religion two main themes and if uh, in case of shakespeare he he wrote some personal songs okay uh, he just uh, separated these two themes reflection of ace conventional and independent like reflection of ace every poetry is a reflection of ace but here what do you mean by conventional and independent उन्होंने कुछ चीजें कन्वेंशनल तौर पे अपनाई जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं कि उन्होंने इटालियन को फॉलो किया उनको कॉपी किया ओके ट्रांसलेटेड किया और ट्रांसलेशन uh, भी किया और फ्रेंच को भी ट्रांसलेट किया और ट्रांसलेट भी किया ठीक है तो उन्होंने दोनों तरह से लिखे हैं इंडिपेंडेंट होकर भी उन्होंने सोनेट लिखे अगर हम शेक्सपियर के केस में देखें तो उन्होंने थोड़ा उसमें कपलेट डाल के थोड़ा सा चेंज किया था राइट right? And uh, finally, I have uh, one quotation for you. Bitter regret for lost happiness by Sid. It means Philip Sidney. Okay, Sid is Sidney. In his Astrophel and Estrella, he wrote this quotation. So hopefully you liked the video and uh, you will, you already have subscribed, isn't it? And share you will definitely share this video because uh, unluckily my text
have become hodgepodge and my videos are not being circulated over the internet and please like because it makes me happy i became a little bit happy okay so this is the thing about uh, sonnet and sonneteers in azbesan is or uh, is of shakespeare thank you bye bye take care